All right, so it's Friday. Uh, I've been cracking on already, but I'm going to show you what I've been doing. This is the van from the outside, by the way. Big old Iveco. Not that old. It's just big old Iveco. Right. So it looks like it looked in the last video. That's pretty much. Uh, but I've now bought MDF, which... I'm still unsure about the MDF thing, but MDF is going to be for the table. Uh, I just know it's going to be strong and not going to flex in the way I need it to when it's down as a bed. Uh, where I think ply probably might have flexed a bit more. Anyway, it doesn't matter. It's getting done. And if it works, it works. Uh, I bought this uh, piece of board here for at the edge uh, along the bed to stop the mattress from coming this way. But if I just move these things up. Oh, I've also got a big ass piece of ply there. Nine ply, I think, to do the storage box and box that in. Um. Yeah. Right, so charge controller is in, power inverter is in. Charge controller isn't wired up yet because uh, the brackets for the solar panels still haven't turned up, so I'm waiting for those, and then as soon as they arrive, solar panels going on, and then that can get wired up. Uh, so here you have the power on and power off for the inverter. It also comes with a little battery monitor, which is quite good. A low power light as well. This is now hooked up to the power inverter, uh, so they can have 240 power uh, on the outside of here. But also. Uh, they've still not decided what they're going to do with TV and stuff yet, so I may even put some more power in the back um, for hidden hidden power sockets, if you know what I mean. Um, the 240 is going to go to this, the, when they're on hookup, is going to go to this, uh, which is going to go on the other side, so under there, I think. But again, I can do that anytime. But today's job, mainly, is box this in and get the table up get the table done and then and because I've, again I've just I've done the electrics today before before I even turned my camera on because I was a bit late let me tell you this really long-winded story I stayed in the hotel last night which is brilliant uh, I've been staying in this hotel like once a week now just for showers and stuff because I'm limited what I can do during lockdown so I've been staying at this hotel and uh uh so I got up this morning dead early because Phoenix woke me up at five o'clock uh Left the hotel at nine. N I knew I needed to go to. Uh, here's a long winded story. Uh, needed, knew that I needed to go to Wix on my way in, so set off a bit earlier. I normally try and get here for around ten if I'm not here already, if I'm not staying here. So I aimed to get here for ten. At ten o'clock, I could still see Travel Lodge. The traffic was that bad, so I was literally. It was like across the road from Travel Lodge, so. Uh, I was late this morning, but I went to Wix, topped up my screws, uh, what else did I buy? Oh, spray adhesive for applying more of this tinfoil stuff over the wheel arches, and also for putting some carpet on bits and bobs. Um, I bought a table leg, so the idea behind the table is going to be that there's going to be a table leg sort of midway down or, or towards the end and then it's going to sit on uh, a platform on this end so it's going to have two points of contact but but one of the points of contact is going to be a long thing that's going to sit on kind of like this that's going to sit on there and then the table's going to sit on top of it like that because i've not found any good solutions for putting a table up in this setup yet um so if anybody's got a good solution to that, and let me know because I, I'd be interested in it. I just haven't come up with it myself yet, or I haven't seen one. I have bloody done some research. I, I know, I appreciate that waffling, all right? So I'm just gonna get cracking, I've got loads to do. Let's, let's go. Right, we're pretty much at the end of day nine. I've just gotta pack up, really. Uh, so I finished the electrics off. They're pretty much done now, uh, but also the table is now in. And I'm going to show you the table in its table mode. 
which is as it is now. It's a big old table, that isn't it? You're gonna be able to fit probably six people around that. It's a four foot six bed, double bed, table to match. So it's gonna be some drunken dinner parties around this table, I imagine. Uh, I've put the piece on across the back of the bed uh, so that the mattress doesn't come off and it sort of just finishes that off a little bit better. Um, I'm gonna move that ply, put the bed slots back on, uh, give it a tidy up. I'll show you the bed in its other mode. Just bear with me a second, I'll put you down. Well, I might want you to be a bit more up that way, like that. Okay, so, uh, the table isn't attached securely yet, but I just want to show you what the, uh, the, the, the thing looked like. So basically, you pop that in there, Fits in, fits in perfectly. Yeah. Onto this leg. Make, then the cushions sit flat. So there are cushions that fit in here. I'll show you. Though I'm not going to show you the cushions. I ain't got the cushions. Uh, but that is it in bed mode. Again, big old bed. Two big old beds in this big old bus. Which is oh, brilliant. Um, I'm glad that we've achieved that. Um, did I show you the power inverter? I did this show you the power inverter, didn't I? I think I showed you the power inverter already. Anyway, that's uh, that's the main achievement for today. Uh, obviously, I built I put this fly on. So I've got the storage cupboards on both sides now. Um, on both sides. Uh, that's all there is to report today. Day nine. We're, we're practically there. Kitchen. Once kitchen's in, solar panel on. Got a few bits to finish off, like cladding the doors and stuff. They're things I always forget as well. Got to do the back door and some carpeting, but I think. Uh, couple of days work there all in, all in all I think we should be done for next week by the end of next week which will make it three weeks which again makes it will be 12 days which is which is no day nine are we on day nine today or day eight no we're on day eight today day eight today so it'd be 12 days so potentially we could have this one in 12 days so Cat van was 13 days. Cat van's still not done. I still need to go back and do some bits. Um, but hopefully, this one will be done by the end of next week. <coughs> so it's now Monday. Uh, I'm not working today on that van. I am uh, having a day off. <laughs> having a day off. When I say having a day off, I'm finishing this this little desk thing that I made. I don't even remember I made a video about it, um, but I never finished it. So what I've done is, it's a bit wet at the minute, so it's gonna be hard to show you, but what I've done is I rounded the corners off and painted it, as you can see. Um, also, I didn't ever paint this bit here that goes across, so I've painted that. These are things that I just left uh, and didn't get round to doing. Um, and then I painted this under bit, but I need to put some cladding in there to finish it off. Um, to be fair, like I've been looking at that for a good couple of months, oh well for months now maybe, uh, and getting annoyed myself for not doing it, so that's a big achievement for me. I've been too busy working on other people's vans and uh, missing my own, neglecting my own. So I'm a little bit happy about that. Um, there's my ants. Did I tell you I've got some new ants? I've got some new ants. I'll show you in another video. I've got three colonies of ants now. Anyway. I've done some work on my van, which is good. Um, I'm going to tidy up now. Uh, I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching this build series. It's been fun recording it, and there's plenty more to come. Uh, if you want to subscribe, just go subscribe. It's probably down there somewhere. Uh, I really appreciate it. I'll see you soon. Love you all. Bye, Felicia.